Hi everyone and welcome to day three of your 30 day yoga challenge. Today, all about balance. We're gonna be working through a really fun, full body yoga flow, uh, focusing on balanced postures. And in the process, we'll learn some really powerful tools to bring more peace, harmony, and balance into our lives. If you enjoy this challenge, then please click the subscribe button, ring the bell so that you're notified each time a new video arrives. Let's begin in a nice comfortable seat. So you can sit with legs crossed, you can sit up on your heels any which way that helps you feel comfortable and you can feel the earth beneath you. And then sit up tall, lift the heart and the crown of your head and let the shoulders melt away from your ears. We're gonna begin today with a breath practice called four part breath. And we're gonna combine that breath with a mudra. Mudras are symbolic hand positions that help awaken, enhance and cultivate certain energies. And today we're working with Prithivi Mudra. Prithivi Mudra is very simple to make. You take the tip of the ring finger and the tip of the thumb together and then the other three fingers just extend outward and you rest the back of the hand on the thighs, okay? Prithivi helps to cultivate uh, an energy that helps us feel grounded, secure, stable, really important for balance. And then physically, it awakens an internal energy that supports our posture and supports our skeletal system. Again, super important for balance, okay? So let's take a Pritti V Mudra, the ring finger and the thumb come together and then close your eyes and rest the back of the hands on the thighs. And relax, notice if your hands feel tense, you're clenching, just relax. Begin to breathe in through the nose and out through the nose. Relaxing more and more into each breath. Each inhale, feel your awareness and your attention gathering more to this moment. Feel all the muscles of your face let go and release tension. Now we're ready to begin our four part breath. So to begin, we'll take a big breath in through the nose and an open mouth exhale to clear. And then inhale through your nose for one, two, three, four. Hold at the top for four, three, two, one, exhale through your nose, one, two, three, four, and hold at the bottom, four, three, two, one, inhale through your nose, four, three, two, one, hold, four, three, two, one, exhale through the nose, one, two, three, four and hold, four, three, two, one. Inhale through your nose and continue with your own count at your own pace. Inhaling for four, holding at the top for four. Exhaling for four, holding at the bottom for four. And relax. The whole idea here is to just Relax more and more deeply, especially when you hold your breath. Sometimes we tense up the jaw or furrow the brow. Feel the muscles of the face letting go, especially when you hold the breath. Continue breathing. Big, full, deep, and slow breaths. Really feel the physical sensations on your next inhale. Hold for four. And open mouth exhale. Ha! <sighs> Release the mudra. Turn your palms down. You sit for a moment. Blink your eyes open. Let's make our way to child's pose. 
take the knees wide, big toe mounds come to meet, and then sink your hips back to your heels, stretch your fingers and melt the upper body down. Let your forehead come to rest on the mat. And take a few breaths here. And then slowly walk your hands over to the right and a big stretch. Place the left palm on top of the right. And as you exhale, dip the left ribs down, lift up the right ribs. A little twist here. Breathe into it. Inhale. Level it out. Walk your hands over to the other side. Right palm on top. Big stretch. And exhale. Dip the right ribs down. Feel that all the way across the right ribs into the hips. And then walk your hands back through center. Let's take puppy pose here. So lift your hips off your heels. Reach all the way through the fingertips. And let the heart melt down toward the mat. As you do, wrap the elbows in gently and bring more weight to the index finger and thumb to broaden across the upper back. And then continue to melt. So we're stretching the chest, and the shoulders, and the upper back. Inhale. Come forward into tabletop. Wrists under the shoulders, knees under hips. We'll move through just a few cat cows here. So wrap the elbows in. As you inhale, push the heart forward. Draw the shoulders back. Exhale, round and flex through the upper back. Draw the navel in. Big breath. Heart comes forward and the shoulders move back. Exhale, round and flex. Move a couple times like this with your own breath in your own way. Be a little free form with it. So if you want to sink the hips back to the heels, do that. If you want to carve some arcs, with the hips and be a little fluid with the motion. Let yourself just follow the cues of your body. Big, full, deep breaths. Inhale as you come forward and exhale as you round and flex. And then coming back to stillness in tabletop, curl the toes, lift your hips and push back downward dog. Let's take a few breaths here, pedal the feet. Bend one knee, draw the opposite heel to earth, and breathe along the back lines of those legs as they start to lengthen and stretch. And then coming to stillness, wrap the elbows in. More weight to the index finger and thumb. Lift the tailbone, draw the navel into the spine, and then push your thigh bones toward the back wall, stretching the hamstrings. Great big breath in. Open mouth, exhale. <sighs> As you inhale, wave forward to a nice long plank pose. So lower your butt so the spine is nice and long. Wrap the elbows in. Again, more weight to the index finger and thumb. And then draw your navel in. Reach the crown of your head forward. And very slowly lower all the way down to your belly for cobra. Untuck the toes. Hand slide back just a little bit and then press into the heels of the hands and the tops of the feet for cobra. Press your heart forward and draw the shoulders back just like we did in cat cow. Exhale lower and hips to heels. Child's pose. Inhale, come forward. Tabletop. Curl the toes. Lift the hips. Downward dog. Feet together and take your right heel to the sky. Bend the knee and stack the hips wide open. Right knee to the very top of the right tricep, way up by the armpit. Pause and hold. Touch the tricep. Inhale. Come on. all the way back to three-legged dog. And this time, knee to nose. Squeeze it in and shift forward to plank, but keep hugging the knee in. Now step it forward. Low lunge. And let's curtsy here. Lift the heart off the thigh. And then left knee behind the right. Wing the arms back. Inhale. Step tall. Reach into the sky, palms meet and slice right down through the center line. Empty the breath. Halfway lift. Step back, plank pose. Nice long plank. Once again, wrap the elbows in. And this time, let's come to our forearms for forearm plank. We'll spend a few moments here strengthening all the muscles in the deep core. The abs, yes but deeper than that, the transverse abdominis, the hip muscles, all the muscles that support the spine and health and wellness. 
They're working. <laughs> you breathe through it. Inhale, press up to plank pose. And now it's your choice. You can lower halfway or all the way, upward dog or cobra. So the knees are up or down as you lift. Lift the heart, open it up. And exhale, lift the hips, push back. Downward dog, beautiful. Feet together, take the left heel to the sky, bend the knee, stack the hips wide open. And then that left knee comes way up on top of the tricep, pause and hold, come all the way forward to touch the tricep. Three-legged dog, left heel back to the sky, knee to nose, squeeze it in. Shift forward, keep hugging the knee into the chest, and then step through, low lunge, lift the heart off the thigh, and curtsy, right knee behind the left wing, the arms back. Inhale, step tall and strong, hands to the sky, and we sit down into a strong chair pose. So relax into it. Every breath, you find your way into a place of balance, right? Balance between effort and ease. There's always chaos all around us. Can we find balance? Can we find peace, calm in the middle of the storm? Yes, we can because it's inside of us. It's the nature of who we are, so we turn inward. Big breath in, open mouth, exhale as you fold. Halfway lift, step back, plank pose. Your choice here, lower halfway or all the way, upward dog or cobra. And exhale, lift the hips, push back, downward dog. Feet together, take the right heel up to the sky, big, long, three-legged dog. Knee to nose, squeeze it into the chest and then shift forward, holding the knee in. Step through between your hands, lift the heart off the thigh, and then straighten the front leg for pyramid pose. So step the back foot forward a little, out to the left a little bit, spin the back heel down. Halfway lift, reach the heart forward and then fold over that straight front leg. Now blocks here for your hands are pretty handy because they help your spine get long, which is what we want. So both legs are straight here and the hips are square to the front of the mat. And just continue to fold. Couple breaths. Breathe into the hamstring. As you inhale, halfway lift, bend into that front knee, and let's glide forward into warrior three. Palms to the heart, lift the left heel, dip the left hip. So the hips and the chest are square, straight down to the earth. Staying balanced on the right foot, we rise up into one leg mountain pose. Right hand to the hip and the left hand to the knee, you can stay there, or grab the big toe and extend into utita hasta, Parangustasana, or extended hand to big toe pose, which is what that means. <laughs> As you exhale, open the leg or the knee to the left. If you have the knee here, that's totally cool, right? And then look off the right shoulder. Balance requires effort and ease. Relax into it. As you inhale, come back to center. And now let's play with a balance and a twist. So the right hand grabs the outside of that left foot and then slowly, or the knee here, and then slowly look back and reach back. So this is a challenging balance pose if you fall, and you can have the knee bent here. You don't have to straighten the leg, right? Let yourself play and fall. Inhale, come back to center, release the foot, and extend it long in front of you, lift the hips. Let's float back to a low lunge. Awesome work. From here, step the front foot back and up to the sky. Bend the knee, stack the hips open. Let's move into a slow motion wild thing here. So more weight to the left hand. Roll to the outside of that left foot, keeping the left leg straight. And then step the right foot behind you, keeping the right knee bent. Lift through the heart, reach the right hand forward. And then press into the index finger and thumb of the left hand to lift the heart and arc deeper into a back bend. Nice, inhale, back to three-legged dog, and we float that top foot down all the way to downward dog, way forward to plank pose, and let's move through a vinyasa, halfway or all the way, upward dog or cobra. Open the heart and lift the hips, push back, downward dog. Nice work, great big breath in. 
Open mouth, exhale. Ah, inhale. Feet together, take the left heel to the sky. Nice and high. Knee to nose, squeeze it in. Shift forward to plank pose, keep hugging that knee in, and we step through between the hands. Lift the heart off the thigh, and then straighten the front leg for pyramid pose. Back foot steps forward, a little out to the right. Spin the back heel down. Halfway lift, and then reaching your heart forward, fold into it. Again, some support for the hands. Nice here, you want a long spine. And notice if your left hip is sticking out here, so draw it back toward that back heel to square the hips facing forward. Continue to melt and soften and ease yourself into this beautiful hamstring stretch. As you inhale, halfway lift, bend into the front knee, let's glide forward into warrior three on this side, palms to the heart. Again, lifting through the right heel, but dipping the right hip to keep the hip square to the earth. Staying balanced on the left foot, we rise up into one leg mountain pose. So the left hand comes to left hip, right hand to the knee. Again, you can stay there or grab the big toe and extend the right leg into utita. Take a moment, ground down through the center line, lift up through the heart, and then as you exhale, open that leg to the right. Again, or the knee to the right and gaze off the left shoulder. Couple breaths here. Again, playful attitude, folks. Relax into it, let yourself fall, hop around, tumble, all of it. Come back to center and let's go for the twist here, right? Left hand grabs the outside of that right foot, extend and then slowly we reach back and look back. Breathe. <laughs> Have fun with this. This is something you come back to again and again. As you inhale, come back to center, extend that right leg, <laughs> point the toes, breathe, and let's float all the way back to a low lunge. Awesome work. From the low lunge, step your front foot back and up to the sky, bend the knee, stack the hips wide open, and a slow motion wild thing. Here we go, more weight to the right hand, rolling to the outside edge of that right foot. Step the left foot behind, lift the heart. Right leg is long and straight here. And then press into the index finger and thumb of that right hand. Get a bigger arc here. Breathe, feel it in the upper back. Inhale, three-legged dog, take that left heel to the sky, float it down, and then we wave forward to plank pose for one final vinyasa, nice and slow, halfway or all the way down, upward dog or cobra. Lift the hips and push back, downward dogs. Take a great big breath, open mouth, exhale. <sighs> Come down to your knees. Sink the hips back to the heels and find child's pose. Mm, awesome work. Slow it down. Feel your breath. Notice where your mind takes you here. So with balanced postures, we can either have fun with them and have a playful attitude and laugh when we fall, or we can get frustrated. And we can feel all of those feelings of not good enough, can't do it, right? That's the practice to watch and notice where your mind takes you and to let go of self-judgment. Let go of the old stories that keep you limited and stuck and to see yourself for who you are, infinitely capable and powerful and beautiful. The more we practice, the more we tap into that power Slowly sit back to your heels. Sweep your legs around in front. And let's take a little cool down Paschimottanasana. So feet a little bit closer than hip distance. Flex your feet, root the sit bones, and then walk your fingers forward, reaching your heart forward, long through the spine. As soon as you feel a little sensation here, Imagine the sit bones spreading open and pressing down and feel the knees turning gently inward. And then continue to fold like that with the sit bones opening and pressing down. 
and just melt into it. When we mindfully spread the sit bones like that, we give the low back more space. And that's important. A few more breaths here, melting into it. Inhale, rise. And make your way all the way to your back. Hug knees into your chest. Give yourself a great big hug, a little rock side to side. And take your feet up in the air. Grab the outside edges of the feet. Press the heels to the sky. And feel the whole spine grounded from the shoulders all the way down to the sacrum. Big breath in. Open mouth, exhale, release. Ah, fine. Shavasana. some movement to your fingers and to your toes, your wrists and ankles. As you inhale, stretch your fingers up overhead, wiggle the fingers and toes, feel your senses waking up, and then draw knees into chest and roll to your right side. Push yourself up gently to a seat. Bring eyes to close and palms to heart center. Let the shoulders melt from your ears. Raise your thumb knuckles to the point between your brow. 
And the teacher, light and love within me, sees and honors the teacher and the light and the love within each one of you. Sweet, beautiful beings, namaste. So grateful that we get to share this practice together. If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and click the subscribe button. Ring the bell. It really supports me. It supports this channel, and it enables all of this to happen. If you would like to continue this cool-down sequence and melt into an even deeper place of stillness and joy, then go ahead and click the video next to me. It's a beautiful yin practice and it will um, make you smile.